another good horse. The evolving Mongo Nation. He's won back-to-back -back starts. Owned by Mike Francesa. He's standing by with Maggie right now. Here with Mike Francesa and Mike, you grew up on Long Island. You've been a longtime horse racing fan and horse racing owner. Um, talk about your years throughout the game here in horse racing. Well, you know, I used to come to Belmont Park after I'd go to St. John's in the morning. And before I'd go to my job in the afternoon, I used to come here and play a couple of races because it was so close to the, and that's how I really fell in love with it. That was in the 70s. So I've been doing that ever since, and I've owned horses since, I'd say the late 80s, pretty much, almost every single year. I have a couple now, and I've always stayed in the game. I've always liked it. I always go to Saratoga every year religiously for 35, 40 years now. So uh, it's a part of my life for a very long time. How does it rank as far as sports are concerned? Because you are the sports king. Listen, it's great. You know, it, it's it, people. It's on. It's it's just you know what you wish more people knew about it. Saratoga is so different, though. So everyone sees Saratoga and wants every year, to, every place to be like Saratoga, which is really hard. But it's a great sport. It's a it's a sport that everyone can get involved in. It's a great mental exercise. It's a cheap. Ent uh, form of entertainment. It doesn't cost a lot of money. You can bring the family. It's a beautiful park here. You know, there's a lot to do. So uh, I think it's really an underrated form of entertainment. Now let's talk about your horse here, Mongo Nation. Where's that name come from? You know, I have a an internet following that has really uh, grown through the years. They have this event for me called Francesa Con, and they call my f part of my fan base on the on the social media Mongo Nation that's their name so I named the horse after them so Mongo Nation is part of my group of followers that have been with me for a long time so that's where Mongo Nation comes from now your racing stable that comes from your kids J-E-H and we're joined here by your daughter Emily I can see she looks like mom no offense yeah, uh, exactly. but she's a horse racing fan how important is it to have family involved oh it's great and you know Emmy's the one the boys they think you know they're not really into it yet that that is too slow. And Em loves it. She comes oh. to Saratoga the whole time. They can't stand the time between races. Uh, but you know what? I think as they get older, they'll appreciate it. But J-E-H. Now, actually, Em was born three minutes before her twin Jack. So she always says it should be E-J. But it's Jack <laughs> Emily Harrison, J-E-H Racing, which is why I named it that way. I used to have a different stable name. But when they were born, I said I'm going to name one after the kids. So that's where J-E-H came from. Well, that's great. Emily, do you like Mongo Nation here today? Yes, I do. <laughs> and she well, picked out the colors, too. The silk, she, she designed the silk. So years ago, she designed the silks. The purple is her idea. Excellent. Well, I love the whole family aspect. Uh, Mike, good luck here with Mongo Nation. I'm like, good to see you as well. Do you like Mongo Nation today? I do. I think he's a pretty fast guy. I think he's going to run well. I think he well, I wish the turf was a little harder, but because he's coming from Florida. Yeah. But I think he'll run well. All right. Well, best of luck Thank here. You. All Thanks. right, Thanks guys. For a couple of minutes. You're welcome. Greg, back to you.